NASA is hiding an advanced alien technology from us. Imagine that when you wake up in the morning, the view from your window is of the wide blue horizon of Earth and the darkness of space. You can see all our world underneath you. As you orbit the Earth every 90 minutes, mountains, lakes, and oceans pass by in a stunning stream of rapidly changing landscape. Sounds unreal, like something from a science fiction novel, don't you think? Well, it is a reality for the International Space Station or ISS Cruise. And if you're a science geek who gets bored easily, NASA offers a YouTube channel with plenty of videos that can catch your attention. One of them is a live stream from the International Space Station. And recently, conspiracy theorists in space claim that NASA interrupted a live transmission from the International Space Station just as an unknown object appeared in the camera's field of vision. Is NASA attempting to hide a sighting of an alien craft? Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at an advanced alien technology that NASA is trying to hide. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. President Ronald Reagan suggested in 1984 that the U.S. work with a number of other nations to construct a permanently manned space station that would be sponsored by the government and industry. This station became a reality four years later as a result of cooperation between the United States, Canada, Japan, and the European Space Agency. Brazil and Russia joined the project in the 1990s, although Brazil eventually severed connections with the International Space Station in 2007. The ISS was built under NASA's direction, and it now functions as an orbiting laboratory for investigations in the life, physical, earth, and material sciences. Since the year 2000, astronauts have been living there constantly when it started to be assembled in orbit in 1998. A wide variety of interconnecting airlocks, docking ports, and pressurized modules make up the International Space Station. There have been 248 spacewalks at the station as of April 2022. The first module, the Functional Cargo Block, or Zarya, was launched into orbit by a Russian Proton rocket in November 1998, marking the start of construction on the ISS. The first ISS crew, consisting of three people, was launched from Russia on October 31, 2000. Activating systems and running experiments, the crew was on board the ISS for four months and 17 days. Since then, numerous spacecraft have planned pieces of the ISS in orbit, and its construction has advanced. The ISS has been constantly manned over this period. The ISS is quite large in comparison to typical home offices. The truss in question is 357 feet long, which is almost as long as an American football field. Multiple rows of large rectangular solar panels with a wing spread of 240 feet are also present on the ISS. The station measures 925,335 pounds at the heaviest point. Plus, it contains 13,696 cubic feet of living space on board, a quantity that rises with each vessel that makes a port. The ISS orbits the Earth at an average height of 248 miles above the surface while moving at a breakneck speed of 17,227 miles per hour. To put it simply, the ISS is a big spacecraft. Therefore, it needs to be able to move around in space. Its crew needs to stay in touch with ground controllers, and it needs electricity to do all of this. Having electricity to run our homes is something we take for granted. For instance, you just plug your coffee maker into the wall and use it without giving it a second thought. All of the ISS's onboard systems need electricity, much like in your home. Electricity is generated from the sun by eight enormous solar panels. In total, the arrays cover an area of around 27,000 square feet and are each 240 feet long. Two solar cell beds are present on each array. Each blanket is attached to a telescopic mast which can be extended and retracted to fold or form the array. In order to keep the solar cells pointed toward the sun, the mast activates a gimbal. 
The arrays produce primary power in a manner similar to a grid on Earth. They produce between 84 and 120 kilowatts of electricity, which is sufficient to power more than 40 dwellings. According to NASA, as the ISS absorbs sunlight, over 60% of the electricity generated during this process goes toward recharging batteries on board the station. At first, nickel hydrogen batteries were used to power the ISS. However, those were replaced in 2017 with 20 lithium ion replacements after serving for 18 years. These updated batteries not only cost less, but they are also more compact and effective. Recently, as the camera was rolling, a metallic pine cone shaped object moved past the International Space Station before curving upward and launching into space. At the time, the astronauts on board the ISS were performing some routine maintenance on the station. The unidentified flying object was first noticed by Scott C. Waring, the creator of UFO Sightings Daily, and he recorded a video demonstrating its exact location and appearance. He said, I was watching the NASA Live Space Station cam when I noticed the camera zooming in on a strange object coming from below the space station. At first, I thought it was a capsule or satellite, but its speed increased and after 22 minutes it shot up and into deep space. I believed if it was a capsule, it would have gone into low Earth orbit, then lower to land, but when this object shot upward into deep space, it literally blew my mind. The person on the camera seemed shocked and unprepared for its unexpected appearance, so it's possible that this is a top secret USAF vehicle with alien technology fused in, but I doubt it. Scott notes that because the camera was zoomed in on, whoever at NASA was in charge of it also saw the thing. It's not the first time this has happened, but no one from the space agency has yet offered any speculation as to what it might be. On the NASA live feed in 2016, a weird light was noticed close to Earth. The broadcast was immediately stopped when it appeared. Later, NASA claimed that the object was either space debris, a reflection, or light coming from Earth. In order to determine how much information is already publicly available about UFOs, and how much more is required to comprehend inexplicable occurrences, NASA has announced that it will establish an independent panel. As part of a renewed drive toward high-risk, high-impact science, NASA is beginning a study into UFOs. The space agency revealed on Thursday that it had formed an impartial committee to assess how much information was already known to the public, and how much more was required to explain the mysterious sightings. Are we the only species in the universe? Or are there other sentient beings someplace who are pondering a similar question while gazing up at their night sky from totally different worlds? Are there other civilizations that are more developed than ours, that have interplanetary communication and a network of connected cultures throughout our galaxy? Such issues, which touch upon the most fundamental issues regarding the nature and future of humanity, have long been the sole preserve of theology and science fiction. It is a difficult to predict what will be the first indication of extraterrestrial civilizations because no verifiable technosignature has yet been discovered by an astronomer. Despite the fact that many astronomers have given signal quality a lot of thought, nobody's really sure about what extraterrestrial technology would look like or what signals might be there in the universe. And that ends today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like our video too. And we'll see you next time.